on a shelf behind it, a shabby, battered wizard's hat, the sorting hat. Harry hesitated. He cast a wary eye around the sleeping witches and wizards on the walls. Surely it couldn't hurt if he took the hat down and tried it on again, just to see, just to make sure it had put him in the right house. He walked quietly around the desk, lifted the hat from its shelf, and lowered it slowly onto his head. It was much too large, and it slipped down over his eyes, just as it had done the last time he put it on. Harry stared at the black inside of the hat, waiting. Then a small voice said in his ear, Be in your bonnet, Harry Potter? Uh, yes, Harry muttered. Uh, sorry to bother you. I wanted to ask, you've been wondering whether I put you in the right house? said the hat smartly. Yes, you were particularly difficult to place, but I stand by what I said before. Harry's heart leapt. You would have done well in Slytherin. Harry's stomach plummeted. He grabbed the point of the hat and pulled it off. It hung limply in his hand, grubby and faded. Harry pushed it back onto its shelf, feeling sick. You're wrong, he said aloud to the still and silent hat. It didn't move. Harry backed away, watching it, and then a strange, gagging noise behind him made him wheel around. He wasn't alone, after all. Standing on a golden perch behind the door was a decrepit-looking bird that resembled a half-plucked turkey. Harry stared at it, and the bird looked balefully back, making its gagging noise again. Harry thought it looked very ill. Its eyes were dull, and even as Harry watched, a couple more feathers fell out of its tail. Harry was just thinking that all he needed was for Dumbledore's pet bird to die while he was alone in the office with it, when the bird burst into flames. Harry yelled in shock and backed away into the desk. He looked feverishly around in case there was a glass of water somewhere, but couldn't see one. The bird, meanwhile, had become a fireball. It gave one loud shriek, and next second there was nothing but a smouldering pile of ash on the floor. The office door opened. Dumbledore came in, looking very somber. Professor, Harry gasped, your bird. I couldn't do anything. He just caught fire. To Harry's astonishment,